This is Pat Solver with Health Innovation Media, broadcasting from HIMSS 14 at the Orlando Convention Center. And it's my pleasure to have a return visitor from last year's uh, HIMSS. This is Heather McClarney with DevNet. So, um, Heather, welcome. And um, I'm hoping that what you can do is to tell us a little bit about DevMed, and then I understand that you have some new products, and we'd really like to focus on that. So okay. let us know what's going on at DevMed. Yeah, thank you for having us back. So again, DevMed has a comprehensive hand hygiene um, compliance solution consisting of both skincare products, specifically designed for the healthcare environment, as well as our main focus is on a new electronic hand hygiene monitoring system that automates the manual process of hospitals using direct observation to track their hand hygiene compliance. And what's new this year is that we uh, have expanded the system so that it works not just with the DebMed product line, but with soap and sanitizer dispensers from any manufacturer. So if a hospital has a preference for products and they want to stay uh, with the products that they're familiar with, then that's an option. We can monitor that. Um, we also have a new point of care dispenser um, that allows us to track hand hygiene compliance at the patient bedside and, and critical point of care. So we have the same electronics um, in this dispenser as we do with the wall mounted dispensers. So it also allows the hand sanitizer to be locked and secured in place at the critical um, point of care. So uh, if I got it right, there's electronics in here Correct. and every time I squirt the uh, hand sanit sanitizer, it notes whether I've washed my hands or not. So, so is it fair to say that this little gizmo is a hand washing nanny? <laughs> um, in a way, it actually helps to give staff credit for what they're already doing. So um, it helps to make sure that they're complying with the highest uh, clinical standard for hand hygiene, which uh, our system is based on the World Health Organization's five moments for hand hygiene, uh, which also uh, is the same as the CDC guidelines. So in those critical care units where staff um, have very intensive caregiving needs and they can't necessarily move away from the, the patient bedside to go to the wall, um, they have the ability now to track that activity right here at, at the bedside. So can you tell us anything about whether this actually works? Um, do you have any evidence that people are washing their hands more? Uh, number one, and number two is, do you have any evidence that if they're washing their hands more using this product, that there's actually less infection? Yes, yeah, so we have a couple of different um, outcome studies that we've done with our um, clients. We've uh, piloted the system as well as done some full implementations now over the last several years. Um, so we have data that we can show um, units. Sometimes they've increased compliance as much as 32% over just a six month um, time frame. Pretty impressive. Yes, thank you. And we also have um, a large client of ours that we've shown over the last three years by them switching from cleaning their hands only before before and after patient care to the World Health Organization's five moments as well as using electronic hand hygiene monitoring in a dedicated hand hygiene program and that they've reduced their MDR rates, rate, MDRO rates significantly. MDRO? Uh, disease resistant organism, uh, organisms. Um, so basically all the different um, types of hospital associated infections. So they've um, seen a significant 22% and 35% reduction um, in different areas uh, throughout the hospital of their um, infection rates. Well, it really, I congratulate you on this. And it's uh, interesting to be here at the M Health Summit where so much of the um, technology is actually on the phone. <laughs> and this is actually in a device that we're all familiar with. Yep. So thank you very much, Heather. Great. I appreciate your time.